Uh, thank you very much um, to uh, the Bears. I want to say thanks to uh, both of you for allowing us to come and um, be here with you today. As we approach this 83rd legislative session, um, we have to remember a core mission uh, that has been trusted to us by the people of the state uh, to wisely and prudently uh, safeguard taxpayer dollars and empower every Texan to reach their potential. Earlier this year, I laid out core principles to keep our state on a fiscally responsible path through the Texas Budget Compact. As much as ever, every dollar counts, certainly to families gathering around their kitchen tables, working to make ends meet after uh, an unexpected expense or two. Uh, that's why it's imperative that we ensure that the state expends their tax dollars the way that they are intended and not abused. Uh, to that end, I'm calling on the Texas legislature to enact reforms that include authorizing the use of drug screening for TANF and unemployment benefit recipients. In the case of TANF benefits, this will help prevent tax dollars from going into the pockets of drug abusers or drug dealers and instead ensure this money goes to the people who truly need it. Every dollar that goes to someone who uses it inappropriately is a dollar that can't go to a Texan who needs it for housing, for child care, or for medicine. Also, being on drugs makes it harder to begin the journey to independence, which only assures individuals remain stuck in that terrible cycle of drug abuse and desperation poverty. Extending taxpayer-funded benefits while ignoring a behavior that could make it virtually impossible for someone to enter the workforce or finish school sends them down the road to a much bleaker future. Bottom line, however, is that illegal drug abuse is not something Texas taxpayers ever subsidize or tolerate. Drug screening for TANF is an issue I know that Senator Jane Nelson has taken the lead on. In fact, she filed a bill yesterday uh, to address this head on. And because the purpose of any safety net is to provide temporary support during life support's most unexpected challenges, uh, we also need to add a drug screening component for someone to receive unemployment benefits. Unemployment benefits are meant uh, not to be a way of life, but merely a bridge from a lost job to the beginning of another. For pr prospective workers who know they'll need to pass a drug screening in order to get work again, part of their responsibility is to be prepared and available for work by remaining drug free. It is simply not the role of employers who fund these benefits to carry workers who help themselves in an, or I should say keep themselves in an unemployable con condition. <clears throat> Under this proposed uh, piece of legislation, qualified Texans who lose their jobs through no fault of their own will continue to receive unemployment benefits and job search assistance from the Texas Workforce Commission uh, as they stand ready to help those unemployed as long as they are drug free. So with that, let me um, uh, ask the Lieutenant Governor just to uh, add his remarks to this. He's been uh, inextricably involved uh, in uh, the governing of the state over the last decade. And, and David, would you please uh, add your remarks? Thank you. <coughs> uh, Governor, thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, as far as I know, I'm the only traditional business owner among our statewide elected officials who operates his or her uh, company. At Falcon Seaboard over the last 20, 25 years, we've had mandatory random drug testing. We have found cases with some of our employees in which they were on drugs and were able to sit down with them, confront them, and urge them to go through programs in which got them clean and back to work. Years ago, I used to operate uh, electric generation plants, the last thing you would want 
with those um, potentially explosive plants is to have people that aren't doing the right thing. Now, I've said over and over again over the years that that it is a legitimate function of government to help people that have no that that no one else to help them and that are not able to help themselves. Over the last two three years, I can't tell you how many people within um, our business community, countless 30, 40, 50 different companies, have in talking said, you know, Governor, I can't find qualified workers. I said, what do you mean you can't find qualified workers? There are millions of people that are anxious to find jobs. They said, I can't find workers. So many of them will say when we offer them a job that, well, just call me back in several uh, months after my 63 weeks of unemployment benefits have expired. Or they flunk the business pre-employment drug test. Again, virtually every the business I know does random drug testing because people on drugs are less dependent and they put their co-workers, as Governor Perry said, at risk. We owe it to all Texans to structure our welfare and our unemployment programs in a way that guarantee uh, that recipients are serious about getting back to work. That's why the Texas Senate this next session, starting on January 8th, will address key reforms to ensure that our taxpayer benefits are being used for their intended purposes. Uh, Senate Bill 11, which was filed yesterday by Senator Nelson, and obviously if the number is under 20, it's something I have a high priority in, is a priority of mine, and it's the beginning of a new approach on TANF and unemployment benefits in the state. This bill brings the program back to its original mission. The original mission of TANF is to provide temporary assistance to qualified recipients and help them get back on their feet and back to work. This bill institutes screening so that if applicants are deemed to be at high risk, then they're required to be drug tested. And if they test positive, then they're disqualified for for the program for up to 12 months unless they complete a substance abuse program which can be provided by Medicaid. It also prohibits retailers from accepting TANF benefits for the purchase of alcohol, beer, wine, spirits, tobacco, and lottery tickets because every dollar wasted on, on these items is a dollar taken away from vital, very helpful other programs uh, and our public education system. Again, our goal in TANF is to get our recipients back on their feet and back to work and back to self-respect. By strengthening our program and our job requirements, we're going to require recipients to be drug-free so they can enter, re-enter the Texas workforce. And that's my goal. I know it's Senator Nelson's goal and it's Governor Perry's goal to get Texans back on their feet and back to self-sufficiency and self-reliance. I appreciate uh, the support on this piece of legislation by Governor Perry. Thank you. Thank you, David. <clears throat> Bill Hammond has uh, been uh, active in Austin now for approaching 30 years as a member of the legislature and then uh, represents uh, the small businessmen and women, and for that matter, the big businesses in the state. But uh, of course, the uh, small businessmen and women uh, are the ones that truly drive the engine uh, of the Texas economy. So I'm going to ask Bill to uh, add his uh, remarks. Bill Hammond. Uh, thank you, Governor, and thank you, Governor Perry and Lieutenant Governor Dewhurst, uh, for your support of this important legislation. Uh, unemployment insurance is basically a covenant between people who have lost their jobs through no fault of their own and the employers of the state who pay for 100 percent of the cost. In return, the uh, people who have been lost their jobs their part of the bargain is that they aggressively seek work and that they are ready and available to take jobs that are offered to them. Unfortunately, in far too many cases, they are unable to get these jobs uh, because they are abusing drugs. Uh, today, in Texas and across the nation, about 80% of employers require drug testing as a prerequisite for hiring. So effectively, those who are abusing drugs are not available for almost 80% of the jobs that are out there today. Uh, we think that's wrong and unfair to the employers who pay 100 percent of the cost of the system, and we are very supportive of both of these efforts on the part of Governor Perry and Lieutenant Governor Dewhurst. Thank you.
Bill, thank you, and uh, Representative Riddle, thank you for coming out, Marsha. Uh, incoming State Representative uh, Dr. Farney uh, for being with us here uh, as well today. Uh, and again, to the Bear Brothers, and we want to say thank you uh, for your hospitality and for allowing us to use your business uh, for a few moments this afternoon.